What got you excited to come to the Trump rally today? It's a good man. I love him. We need him. It saved the country. You love him? Yeah. I think he's a good man. What do you think? Uh, why? Uh, when did you decide he was he was such a good man? Uh, 2016. I liked his I liked his words, and I like he did everything he said he was going to do, and he did it. Well, what are some of those things that that he said, and then he did? Uh, he did just one thing. One thing he said, and then he did. He caught me off guard there. I just. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> okay. If Donald Trump were to lose again, what would that mean for MAGA, do you think, for this, for all the people here? I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I think that the hope that we can ever be a great nation again and that my grandchildren can have the benefit of what I had as a young woman, I think that that hope is gone. Donald Trump, man. My wife calls me Donald Trump. I love the guy. I love the guy. Um, if, if you were to lose again, what would that mean to you? We better uh, buy some more guns, ammunition. What is it about Donald Trump that gets your support? I will, I will back him up forever. I think he's a great leader, and I, the way he runs the country is second to none, and I support that and will always. Is there anything he could do to lose your support? No. Is there anything that Donald Trump could do that would disqualify him from your vote? Uh, I don't think he would do anything disqualifying. More to the point, he's been like a an unstoppable force to try to fix things. When I when he was president, unemployment was at its lowest point, and black until now, right? Until under Biden, yeah. Well, Biden's this is lowest in history right now. No. Well, yes, it is. It, it really isn't when you look at how they're counting unemployment now. At the same way they have for decades and decades. The same victories that Trump had in carrying in continuing the, the Obama um, jobs numbers and the success that Trump had with them until the pandemic, which you can't count against him. But, but the Biden numbers are lower than they've ever been. The Biden numbers count illegals as employed. And that's who is working right now. When you're talking about citizens, that's what makes uh, the government tabulation really misleading because... So it was misleading under Trump then, too, because we've counted the exact same way, right? Well, there weren't so many illegals under Trump, so if you were counting them, it was a negligible number. That It was a true measure of real Americans born here working... Wait a second. See what I mean? These guys aren't, these guys aren't paid. Like they're, no, they're not paid. They're, they're supporters. When Biden that doesn't make, mean that he's winning Philly, though. Is there anything Trump could do to lose your support? No, because it's so freaking bad out there. You know, wide open borders, letting all these murders in. You know, I, I, I believe we're going to get a terrorist attack on our own land. But, you know, the president and his administration, anyway, have closed the borders uh, when the illegal crossings get to a certain number, which is no president has done that before. Well, it should have never been open. should have never signed everything. You're going to close the border now. Well, it's way past it. You know what I mean? You got all these people way past. Too late, Joey. And what about uh, legally? Is there anything Trump could do that would lose your support? I mean, the felony didn't, the conviction didn't. But is there anything you could... Uh, no, he, look, he, he came a big timer. You know what I mean? millionaire, billionaire, whatever. He didn't have to get into politics, but he was tired. And back in the day, in the early 80s, he was talking about it. Didn't want to get involved with it because he knew it was going to be trouble. He's just looking out for our country, and that's it. You know what I mean? You got the shirt, you got the badge, you took the button off for some reason. Oh, well, and that, somebody, I just put it on. Oh, okay, all right. So, but, but tell me, oh, and the shoes, look at that. Yeah, de defund the media as you stand and talk to a media. Uh, but tell me, um, tell me what is it you like so much about the guy? I just love his leadership style. I love that he is unapologetic. I think he wants the best for our country. He, he believes God can get him there. So do I. And uh, I, I feel he truly loves our nation. All right. Let's talk about a little bit of that. Do you feel that he wants the best for our country in, any more than President Biden does or in just a different way? Uh, no, I, I feel that um, the Biden administration has not helped us internationally, uh, militarily, our economy, on every, on every level. So 
The inflation numbers are going down. They were way up. They're going down. The stock market is at all-time highs. We've never had better unemployment in the history of the country. When you see a trend that's starting ever so slowly to correct, does that give you hope as well? It does not. No, because our international climate, our military, our, our nation, it, it does not, we are not revered as we once were. We were, uh, you know, um, inter I served in the military. I worked for the federal government. Um, and I know, you know, what a, le a good leader looks like. And that's Trump, you know, and the safety of our nation. We went with peace, you know. If Trump were to lose again, what would that mean for you? I mean, it would just be devastating. Uh, it's not so much for me, like, yes, I'm behind him. Yes, I I really feel that's my opinion, you know, um, that that's who we need for our nation, right? He's a good man. We need him. He's going to save the country. When did I decide that? When he decided, well, when he ran for president the first time. What is wrong with these statements? Well, first of all, the proof is in the video. The gentleman said the policies that he support that Donald Trump will use to save the country uh, is the reason he loves Trump and he thinks Trump's a good man. But he can't name a single policy, not a single policy. This is his reasoning. This is not a got you question. He was not put on the spot. The question was, why do you support Trump? And he said he loves Trump because of policies that he stand for yet he can't name a single policy that he cares about at a political rally about this person during a presidential election year, when it's his second term running for office, third time actually, third time. So will you tell me, you tell me, is it really about policy when this person has ran for president's the office of president three times, and this person in that stand, in that outside of his rally, can't name a single policy that's important to him. It's telling. It's also all too common that people will not admit that the folk on Donald Trump's side do not care about policy. They like him because he says out loud the things that they've always thought and felt. Whiteness is under attack in America. This is what they believe. This is the glue that keeps them together because when Donald Trump said, did disband the FBI, they went along with it. These same people, so-called patriotic people who love to wear FBI hats and T-shirts are now with Donald Trump saying defund the FBI. When Donald Trump said throw the Constitution out the window, they were cool with it. When Donald Trump said he wanted to be a dictator, they were cool with it. When Donald Trump said Vladimir Putin was a good guy, they also went along with the Russian story. When Donald Trump's meeting with North Korea, they're cool with it, yet they're still talking about communists and socialists. Think about that. Think about it. These are the most so the so-called most patriotic people in this country, okay with all of those things because of Donald Trump. What is it about Donald Trump or what is Donald Trump doing that make these people so comfortable that they can't name a single policy that he supports or that they support? so they can lie about and give Trump credit for, they can't name a single policy. But what they can do, what they can do is show up with all their whiteness and remind the world how close we are to tyranny and that America has not dealt with a racist first problem and is still rearing its ugly head in 2024. I'm Mundell Robinson. Don't put your racism on display.